हेलो बेटा वेलकम ऑल वेलकम ऑल वेलकम ऑल बेटा वेलकम ऑल हाउ आर यू ऑल वेलकम बेटा वेलकम 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 एवरीवन वेलकम माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स just few more seconds okay bada please confirm me audio and video is clear to all of you fantastic mind blowing super okay <clears throat> welcome welcome beta welcome shamir very happy good evening kritika shamir suresh minku prachi chetan welcome all beta welcome all kritika minku chetan dilip rao vaibhav soni prachi radeshyam mukesh कासव रेड्डी गौतम गोविंद नमन धनंजय रकुल निशांत राज वेलकम वेलकम ऑल बेटा यूर ऑल वेलकम यूर ऑल वेलकम एंड एवरी वन एवरी वन वेलकम बेटा हाउ आर यू ऑल एवरीथिंग इज गोइंग इन सुपर मैनर welcome welcome beta everyone everyone welcome jagdish welcome all beta welcome all okay so okay very very happy good evening to all of you beta so now i'm going to start uh, lecture number 3 of process calculation and the second part of unit and conversion as you all know this is gaurav shrivastava sir educator head gate chemic learning app gate chemic institute with 12 plus years of teaching experience and now without any delay i am going to start today's lecture okay very very good beta very good <clears throat> so today we will start with force today's lecture we will start with force what is force beta what is force i we don't want to uh, do analysis on force but uh, we want to do analysis on a unit of force we want to do analysis on unit of force okay so simply you know according to newton's second law of motion according to newton's second law of motion the force can be written as mass into acceleration mass into acceleration uh we all know that uh, the unit of mass is kilogram whereas the unit of acceleration is meter per second square very happy good evening beta meter per second square now this whole kilogram meter per second square is known as newton is known as newton and you can represent it with symbol capital n everyone know i know you all know you all know i know it's very very easy so what is newton beta what is newton newton is the si si means international system of units si unit newton is the si unit of force newton is the si unit of force now uh because newton is si unit of force so i want to give you few conversion factors for different different units but all in terms of newton i will give you all in terms of newton okay and one more thing if you want to write dimension if you want to write dimension for this force dimension then you can write it as m l and small t or capital t depends upon you okay so i am using a small t in a few books you can see capital t but uh, because i am going to deal also with temperature that's why i am going to use it capital t for temperature where is small t for time okay so m l t to the power minus 2 now one beautiful unit of force one beautiful unit of force you all know 
नेम के जी एफ यू नो बड़ा के जी एफ वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ के जी एफ रॉकी भाई वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ के जी एफ गोल्ड माइंस सो कैन यू टेल मी वेट बेटा आई हैव टू रिप्लाई ओके नाउ कैन यू टेल मी बेटा के जी एफ इन टर्म्स ऑफ न्यूटन वन के जी एफ बिकम्स इक्वल टू हाउ मच न्यूटन कैन यू टेल मी बेटा एनी वन ऑफ यू किलोग्राम फोर्स सो के जी एफ इज वॉट इट्स किलोग्राम फोर्स वेरी गुड इट्स किलोग्राम फोर्स इट्स किलोग्राम फोर्स वेरी गुड बेटा गोविंद एब्सोलूटली करेक्ट माइडियर स्टूडेंट समीर सो के जी एफ वॉट इज के जी एफ KGF told us that how much force required to accelerate one kilogram of mass with how much in which acceleration in which type of acceleration gravitational acceleration that means g so one kg in g m into g and what is the value of g g is 9.807 meter per second square okay so from here you can see you can see it can be written as 9.807 kilogram meter per second square and 9.807 kilogram meter per second square means what beta it means this is newton This is Newton. That means we got one kg of equals to nine point eight zero seven Newton. So I think uh, you will not forget this unit kg of, as I told you, basics behind this, basics present behind this kg of, kg of. Okay. Now, next unit I am going to deal is LBF. You know. What is LBF? Can you tell me full form of LBF? Please write in comment section, everyone. Please write in comment section full form of LBF. LBF. What is the full form of LBF? It's pound force. Pound force. Uh, can you tell me one pound force equals to how much newton? Tell me, everyone. One pound force equals to how much newton? I am waiting for your comments. Very good, Prachi. Very good, Prachi. But please tell me, everyone, that uh, one lbf. If you know, then please write in comment section. One lbf is equal to how much newton? You know? Yeah. Very good, Govin. It's four point. Very good, Kritika. It's four point. Very good. Very good, everyone. It's four point four four eight newton. How, sir? How, sir? See. In previous case, you had seen. You want to accelerate one kilogram mass. of a body at which rate 9.81 meter per second square or 9.807 but if you are going to write lbf 1 kg of that means how much force feel by how much force feel by 1 kg mass 1 lbf in simple language how much force how much force feel by 1 Pound mass. So because uh, we are on Earth and the value of g is nine point eight zero seven meter per second square, that means here again you have to write how much force feel by how much force feel by who one pound. This time one pound mass. So one pound multiplied by g. What is the value of g? It's nine point eight zero seven again in meter per second square. So if we want to write, if we want to write. lbf in terms of newton then we have to convert this pound into kilogram and as we all know as we all know that uh, one pound equals to 453.6 g that means in kilogram you can write point 4536 kg and multiplied by what 9.807 
meter per second square. Now, see everyone better, see my dear students. Uh, please multiply 9.807 with uh, 0.4536 and tell me answer. Everyone better. Please tell me answer. Very, very good, Nishant. Very good. Please tell me everyone. So it's 4.4484. That means up to three decimal place, we can take 4.448 Newton. That means 1 LBF equals to 4.448 Newton. If you forget in your examination, no need to worry. You know, you know basics present behind this beautiful LBF. So I hope each and every student is crystal clear about this LBF. This LBF. Okay. Shall we move forward? Confirm me everyone my dear students. Confirm me in comment section. Shall we move forward? Everything is crystal clear till now. Everything is crystal clear to all of you. Yeah, wow. fantastic, mind blowing, super. Now, one more beautiful unit of force and uh, known as dyne. You know what is dyne? Can you tell me? I know these are basics, so I hope that uh, some students uh, able to answer these questions. That's why I ask you. So can you tell me one dyne? What is dyne? What is dyne? Is it unit of force? Is it unit of force? What is dyne? What is dyne? So dyne. Dyne is CGS. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Everyone. Mind blowing. Super. Super. Why? Yes. Tananjay, very good. Everyone, everyone, congratulations. So it is CGS, CGS unit of force. Dyne is CGS unit of force. CGS. CGS, centimeter, gram, second. You know, everyone, I know. That means we can write one dyne as 1 dyne kilogram meter per second square that was mks or si that was mks unit m k s unit but here cgs unit that means now in place of in place of kilogram you have to write gram and in place of meter per second square you have to write centimeter per second same in si unit in mks in cgs everywhere second so it's centimeter per second square that means you can write one dyne you can write one dyne as you can write one dyne as one gram centimeter per second square now see i want uh, one conversion factor from your side see my dear students please Give me answer. Please give me answer. Uh, one dyne. One dyne. Equals to. How much. Newton. This is the problem. One dyne equals to how much Newton. I know. You can solve it. And uh, please. Uh, give me answer by your calculation. If you remember this uh, value. Then don't write in comment section. If you are able to calculate right now. Then give me answer. If you are able to calculate it right now, then give me answer. Otherwise, no need to write. Okay. Everyone, I am waiting for your comments. Yeah, beta. In Newton. N is Newton. Adhananjay, 10 to the power minus. Okay, okay. You told me. You tell me that sir, uh, you are you was wrong. Typing, typing error. Okay, okay. No problem. No problem. See, everyone, uh, that means we have to convert, we have to convert 1 gram centimeter per second square into, what is Newton? Newton is kilogram meter per second square. Now, see the basic rule of conversion. Now, you will learn the basic rule of conversion. I am going to teach you basic rule of conversion. See, here, in this case. You want to convert this gram into kilogram. You want to convert 
this centimeter into meter you want to convert second into second so in third case one second equals to one second no need of conversion now you want to go from gram to kg and centimeter to meter so just basic rule see my dear students here write one and one now you have to find that one gram equals to how much kg as you all know 1000 gram equals to 1 kg 1000 gram equals to 1 kg so 1 gram equals to 1 by 1000 that means 10 to the power minus 3 kg 100 centimeter equals to 1 meter 100 centimeter equals to 1 meter so 1 centimeter equals to 1 by 100 meter that is 10 to the power minus 2 now see see how to deal it so first write this numerical value. this numerical can be 1 2 3 4 5 anything so here 1 so I am writing 1 here now in place of gram I am going to write 10 to the power minus 3 kg and in place of centimeter I am going to write 10 to the power minus 2 meter now in place of second just second so second square now after solving you can see 10 to the minus 3 into 10 to the minus 2 into 1 it will give you 10 to the power minus 5 kilogram meter per second square and what is this this is this is Newton this is Newton so I hope each and every student is now crystal clear that one dime equals to 10 to the power minus 5 Newton tell me what everyone everyone crystal clear very very easy it's very very easy now it's very 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 easy okay now suppose suppose i want to know i want to know that one newton see see i want to know one newton one see here i want to know one newton equals to how much dime can you tell me answer can you tell me answer one newton equals to how much time tell me everyone one newton equals to how much time everyone come on one newton equals to how much time yes absolutely correct 10 to the power minus 5 newton equals to one time then one newton equals to one upon 10 to the minus 5 that means it's 10 to the power 5 fantastic Buddha. fantastic mind blowing super super okay now shall we move forward everyone crystal clear till now very good nice fantastic mind blowing super so now after force after force i am going to give you few details about power power what is power can you give me definition of power class ninth definition you had learned in when you were in uh, class 9th tell me what is power in just one single line what is power i am waiting tell me everyone what is power for tougher everyone fast Tell me everyone. Very good. So, Chetan, lots of comments are there. Most of you told me uh, W by T rate of doing work energy consumed per unit volume or in uh, work per unit time. Work done in one second. <laughs> Samir, work done in one second is power. Uh, very good. Kritika, very good. Um, it means simple simple very neat very good so you can write just this power p as w by t what is w by t uh, rate of doing work power is what power is rate of doing work rate of doing work is known as power work per unit time what is the si unit of work you know 
you know what is the si unit of work please tell me in comment section what is work force into displacement in the direction of force so w is nothing but w can be given as this work w can be given as simply fd fd cos theta is also there but i am not going to uh, define what is work what is power i am dealing here just unit okay so i am uh, assuming that uh, the direction is uh, such a direction that cos theta is one so fd fd so it uh, will come newton meter and you know what is newton meter newton meter is known as yeah absolutely correct it's joule it's joule represented by capital j so it's joule and time i am going to take as second joule per second and you know what is joule per second this joule per second is known as watt this joule per second is known as watt and the unit of watt is a representation of symbol by which you are going to represent what is w capital w okay capital w it was given by james watt ha huh? uh one more thing one horsepower you heard about it you heard about it beta please tell me my dear students one horsepower hp hp how much watt in one horsepower in one horsepower how much watt tell me everyone 746 okay very good so you can write it as 745.7 watt 745.7 watt uh is it the power of horse horse power why it is known as horse power is it same as the power of a horse is it same as the power of a horse tell me everyone tell me everyone is it power of one horse that you had written here horse power tell me anyone know about this shayad probably okay uh one uh, beautiful scientist can tell me steam engine is steam engine who invented steam engine tell me name in comment section who invented steam engine tell me everyone name 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 who invented steam engine kya baat j w oh rocky bhai it's james watt absolutely correct james watt and uh, when a person with a very super beautiful mind blowing mind then uh, lots of things he starts to see in his dream same thing happened with james watt he had seen in his dream in his dream he has seen that uh, lots of horses are running with his steam engine now from his dream he took a beautiful idea let's compare let's compare the power of horse let's compare or uh, no or calculate power of horse so he took a mill wheel he took a mill wheel whose radius he had taken 12 feet 12 feet and one horse is there one horse is there and now that horse that horse is start running start running with this mill wheel start running with this mill wheel 
in a village mill wheels these type of instruments used for extraction of oil i hope many of you had seen this in your village if you belonged to your village if you are going to your village same type mill wheel had taken by james watt after one hour after one hour james watt had seen that this horse completed 145 uh, sorry 144 144 times in one hour horse had completed 144 rounds can you tell me how much rounds in one minute of course one hour 60 minute so in 60 minute it's 144 that means uh, in uh, 1 minute 144 by 60 after division you will get it's 2.4 times okay after this he took pen and paper he took his pen and paper and start calculating that power is work per unit time work is force into distance by time force now with the help of experiment with the help of experiment he had calculated that a force of or average force of a horse is 180 lbf 180 lbf 180 lbf and a distance traveled by one round that is circumference so it's 2 pi r 2 pi r r is 12 feet this is one round and uh, 2.4 times now 2.4 round in one minute so time in place of time it's one minute can you tell me after calculating this what is the value of p here tell me after calculation what is the value of p here everyone calculate beta everyone my dear students tell me what is the value of p it's 180 into 2 into 3.14 into 12 into 2.4 divided by 1. It will come nearly. Very good. 32,555.52. Very good. Very good. Very good, Abhishek. LBF. Fit. Per minute, LBF fit per minute. Now, uh, he repeated same experiment lots of time, and uh, he had given one conclusion that the power produced by these horses are nearly thirty three. 1000 lbf fit per minute okay now i want one beautiful conversion from your side okay so please tell me my dear students that if p is 33000 lbf fit per minute then that becomes equals to how much newton meter per second or that becomes equals to how much newton meter is joule per second or that becomes equals to how much watt 
these three fill in the blanks will remain same okay so do it this calculation for me are you able to calculate this i am giving you hint and uh, please do it and tell me answer everyone everyone my dear students do it and tell me answer i am giving you few hints like here here you have to convert lbf into newton you have to convert fit <coughs> into meter you have to convert minute into second that means right here 1 1 and 1 so 1 lbf equals to 4.448 newton 1 fit equals to 30.3048 meter 1 minute equals to 60 second okay everyone crystal clear about these conversion factors everyone crystal crystal clear everyone beta shall we move forward okay now see uh how i am going to deal this conversion see everyone very good very good very good chetan absolutely correct so first write numerical value numerical value was 33000 multiplied by in place of lbf i am going to write 4.448 newton in place of fit in place of fit i am going to write 0.3048 meter divided by in place of minute i am going to write 60 second now after calculation after calculation this p this p you will get very good chetan dhananjay absolutely correct absolutely correct everyone everyone so it will come 745.6627 and unit will be newton meter per second newton meter per second so up to two decimal place you can write here 700 or up to one decimal place 745.7 newton meter is known as joule that means it will remain same that means it will remain joule per second is what so it will remain same so from here from here james watt told us that one horse power one horse power equals to 745 this is what this is one horse power So one horsepower equals to what? Seven hundred forty-five point seven watt. Everyone crystal clear? Shall we move forward? Come on, everyone. Please write CC in comment section. And if you have any doubt, feel free to ask me. I am waiting for your comments. Come on, everyone, everyone, crystal clear? Crystal clear? Very good, Dhananjay, Chetan, Aryan, fantastic, mind blowing, super, super. So next. Uh, term i am going to deal is pressure is pressure what is pressure what is pressure in simple language if uh, someone ask you then immediately you will tell that uh, it's force per unit area what is pressure pressure is force per unit area okay no problem i am right going to write same to same i am going to write same to same p Equals to F by A. Oh my God! This F just we had completed discussion of force, so we know that the SI unit of force is newton, and area in SI unit meter, so meter square. That means newton per meter square. And can anyone tell me what is newton per meter square? Known as newton per meter square is known as. Can you tell me? Fantastic, fantastic by Devi Prakash. Fantastic, mind blowing, super. Shamir, it's Pascal. It is known as Pascal. The short form or representation you are going to represent. You can represent Pascal as just capital P small a. It's P a. P a is Pascal. Okay, P a is Pascal. And uh, one more thing. 
you want to know one kilo pascal equals to how much pascal so it's this k is just a prefix this k is just a prefix whose value 10 to the power 3 that means 1000 so 1000 pascal okay now see uh, one more scientist from past whose name whose name is E. Torricelli. E. Torricelli. Had uh, done one beautiful experiment. He took a large reservoir. He took a large reservoir. And uh, in this reservoir, he filled this reservoir with mercury. He filled this reservoir with mercury. What is this? This is? Hg. Hg is mercury. Now, he took one uh, small dia tube and in this tube He filled here also same mercury. Now, he put this tube in this reservoir like this. Uh, after some time, Immediately, not after some time, immediately, uh, he had seen that uh, the level in that tube is going down. And now stable, and now stable at uh, this position. Now he measured. this height and got it as 760 mm that means 76 centimeter that means 0 0.76 meter now because uh, mercury mercury all mercury is not going to drop down from this tube so he concluded that that means atmosphere that means atmosphere is giving some pressure some pressure here so that so that the whole liquid is not going to drop down the whole mercury is not going to drop down so he told that one atmospheric pressure that is a standard atmospheric pressure is equals to 760 mm of Hg or you can write it as 76 centimeter of Hg you can write it as 0 0.76 meter of Hg you can also write this in feet or any other unit of length because this is just height this is just height and uh, in regard of his uh, name, this is also known as 760 tor. 760 tor. So from here, we got two units. We got two units. Uh, first one, first one, that one ATM pressure equals to 760 
mm of hg and the second one one atmospheric pressure equals to 760 torr i hope each and every student is crystal clear and know how one atmospheric pressure equals to 760 mm of hg please tell me my dear students is it crystal clear to all of you shall we move forward to next unit of atmosphere atmospheric pressure everyone please tell me is it crystal clear to all of you shall we move forward to next unit of pressure okay fantastic mind blowing super now uh, these are simply standard atmospheric pressures and if nothing mentioned every, anywhere then just uh, take this value as your atmospheric pressure okay because local atmospheric pressure can be different it may be a uh, 750 mmhg okay because uh, with increasing height the pressure value is uh, decreases pressure value decreases now one more thing one more thing till now we know that uh, one atm pressure equals to one standard atmospheric pressure equals to or simply atmospheric pressure equals to 760 mm hg or we know it as 760 torr we had learned this all already now this same one atmospheric pressure you can write it as 101.325 kilopascal and it is also you can write it as 101.325 pascal okay or you can write it as 101 3 to 5 Newton per meter square. That means when you are going to apply 1, 0, 1, 3 to 5 Newton force perpendicular to a unit area, perpendicular to an unit area, then that pressure equals to 1 atmospheric pressure. That pressure equals to 1 atmospheric pressure. And also, you can write it in terms of PSI. In terms of PSI. 1 atmospheric pressure equals to 14.7 psi. Can you tell me what is the full form of psi? What is the full form of psi? Any one of you? Can you tell me? What is the full form of psi? I am waiting for your comments. What is the full form of psi? Come on everyone. What is the full form of PSI? Please tell me my dear students. I am waiting for your comments. One atmospheric pressure equals to how much PSI? 14.7 and what is PSI? Pound per square inch. Divya Prakash told me pound per square inch and other students don't know. Okay, now lots of comments coming. Pound per square inch, pound pressure per square inch. What is Zananjay? Pound pressure per square inch? No, but it's not correct. Everyone wrong. It's, it's pound force per square inch. Pound per square inch. So, pound is the unit of mass. Pound is the unit of mass. So, is a pressure is a mass per unit area? No, it's force per unit area. I hope you understand everyone very good Devi Prakash so it's pound force per square inch now how how you can say how you can say that one atmospheric pressure equals to 14.7 psi okay okay now I am going to I am going to do another beautiful conversion so one atmospheric pressure equals to I want to know how much psi this is my question no problem this atmospheric pressure can be written as 101 101 3 to 5 newton per meter square and this psi can be written as lbf per inch square oh my god it's very very easy it's very very easy see see here uh, you want to convert this Newton into LBF. See, Newton into LBF. And what is meter square? Nothing like meter square. Meter is your 
main unit. So meter convert meter into inch. So meter, meter into inch. We know 4.4, you want to know 1 Newton and 1 meter equals to how much LBF and how much inch. So you know 4.448 Newton equals to 1 LBF. 4.448 Newton. Please see my dear students. It's 4.448 Newton equals to 1 LBF. So 1 Newton equals to 1 upon 4.448 LBF. 1 meter equals to how much inch? Oh my God. But I know 1 inch equals to 2.54 centimeter. Or we can say 2.54 centimeter equals to 1 inch. We can say 2.54 2.54 centimeter equals to 1 inch. So to convert centimeter into meter just divide by 100. So 2.54 divide by 100 that means 0 0.0254 0 0.0254 0 meter equals to 1 inch. So 1 meter equals to 1 upon 0 0.0254 inch. Is it correct? Please tell me everyone. Please tell me everyone, is it correct? Yeah, very good. Fantastic, mind-blowing, super, 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 super. Very good, very good, Alien. So now, see how to convert it. First, first, write numerical value. After that, in place of N, I can write 1 upon 4.448 LVF. In place of meter square, in place of meter, I can write 1 upon 0 0.0254 inch. And because here meter square, so now whole square. Now, now separate units from numerical values. So 101, 325 and uh, multiplied by 0 0.0254 square and whole upon 4.0254. 448 and here unit will be LBF per inch square. Now let me calculate. Tell me answer how much it's a 14 point 14 point six nine six nine six six eight LBF per inch is square. That means up to one decimal place you can write 14.7 and pound 4 per square inch is written in short PSI. I hope everyone everyone feel what is PSI, what is kilopascal, what is mhg and now you all are also capable to do these beautiful conversions. These beautiful conversions. Okay, you are learning conversion with the help of lots of stories. You are learning conversion with the help of stories. Wonderful. Wonderful. So again, we had completed one more conversion. Fantastic. Now, a few more units of atmospheric pressure is present. Let me discuss those units. The same, the same atmospheric pressure, standard atmospheric pressure or simply a standard uh, atmospheric pressure is also written as 10.33 meter of water. What is this? 10.33 meter of water? 10.33 meter of water. What is this? Let me explain. Let me explain. Very, very easy. Very, very easy. You know about hydrostatic head? You heard about hydrostatic head? Tell me, my dear students. You know that uh, in uh, water, if you want to calculate, suppose, suppose uh, you are in the river. You are in the river. Water, pani, pani, water.
no no if if i want to know i want to know the pressure difference between these two points and if these two points are of at a distance of 10.33 meter present and if i want to calculate pressure and i am writing here as p1 this point pressure is p2 so so this p1 minus p2 can be calculated as h rho g you will see a derivation of this beautiful formula in fluid mechanics in beautiful fluid mechanics okay now this is water this is water h2o and the density of water at 4 degree celsius is 1000 kg per meter cube if nothing given in your problem then just uh, take 1000 as the density of water you know what is h h you are taking 10.33 so it's 10.33 meter what is rho it's 1000 kg per meter cube okay now what is g g is 9.807 meter per second square now can you tell me after calculation how much 10.33 calculate all numerical values 1000 9.807 Uh, it will come one zero one three zero six, one zero one three zero six point three one. See here, kilogram meter per second square. I can write it as newton. Okay, and meter. So now it's meter square. So it's newton per meter square. Or you can write it as one zero one. Three zero six point three one Pascal. Oh my God! You know, you know, it is nearly equals to one zero one three two five Pascal. That was your one atmospheric pressure. Sir, error is there? No, beta. Error is not present. In our calculation, this error comes because I took this just up to two decimal places. Just up to two decimal places. That means third place I took zero, ten point three three zero 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 zero. But in reality, uh, it's not exactly ten point three three. That's why you got this error. But in your examination, if uh, you want to calculate or uh, you anyone ask you that, please tell me one atmospheric pressure equals to how much meter of water? Then just write ten point three three meter of water. Okay, is it crystal clear to all of you? Is it crystal clear to all of you? How how we can say one atmospheric pressure equals to ten point three three meter of water? That's nothing but hydrostatic head. Okay, is it clear? Is it crystal clear? Very good. And uh, now that means that means uh, this. Is one atmospheric pressure, and again, if you are going to in same depth, in same depth, then it will also become equal to one atmospheric pressure. That means, that means, if you are going, if you are going deeper, deeper, and deeper, if you are going deeper, deeper, and deeper in your water, in your sea, in river, then pressure will be increases. Then pressure will be increases. Okay. Ah, uh, one more thing. Can you tell me? can you tell me if same thing if same thing i want to do analysis for mercury that means i am taking mercury in a container just like a, a river of this river and i took height as a 0.76 meter that means 760 mm hg and if here pressure is here pressure is uh, p2 Here pressure is P one. Then can you tell me P one minus P two will be how much? Yeah, we can calculate H rho of mercury into G. So I am taking 
जीरो पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स मीटर एज हाइट मर्करी फोर्टीन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड किलोग्राम पर मीटर क्यू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई नाइन पॉइंट एट जीरो सिक्स मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर टेल मी कैलकुलेटेड बुडा एवरी वन एवरी वन कैलकुलेटेड फोर्टीन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड गलती से लिख दिया इट्स नॉट करेक्ट इसलिए ज्यादा आ रहा है तेरह हजार थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स सो थर्टीन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड मेक इट करेक्ट एंड नाउ कैलकुलेटेड अगेन पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स इंटू वन थ्री सिक्स डबल जीरो इंटू नाइन पॉइंट एट जीरो सिक्स इट विल कम वन जीरो वन थ्री फाइव फोर पॉइंट एट टू अगेन न्यूटन परमेट स्क्वायर दैट मीन्स पास यू कैन सी अगेन दिस इज नियरली इक्वल टू वन जीरो वन थ्री टू फाइव पास कर अगेन एरर इज देयर बिकॉज वी आर नॉट टेकिंग केयर ऑफ डेंसिटी एक्सेट्रा टेम्परेचर एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ जी एंड ऑल्सो दिस हाइट वी आर टेकिंग जस्ट अप टू टू डेसिमल प्लेस इन मीटर ओके दैट्स वाई यू गॉट इयर लिटिल बिट एक्स्ट्रा वन जीरो वन थ्री फाइव फोर बट इन यूर एग्जामिनेशन इफ दे आस्क यू जस्ट राइट सेवेंटी सिक्स सेवन सिक्सटी एम ऑफ एच जी दिस एडर इज प्रेजेंट इयर बिकॉज ऑफ दिस जी एंड दिस डेंसिटी नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस हाइट बिकॉज हाइट इज एक्यूरेटली गिवन बाई ई टॉरी सेल बट हियर दिस एडर इज प्रेजेंट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस हाइट ओके सो आई होप ईच एंड एवरी स्टूडेंट इज क्रिस्टल क्लियर नाउ दैट नाउ वी आर एबल टू गिव this standard atmospheric pressure as x meter of any liquid is it crystal clear is it crystal clear you can write it as x meter of any liquid okay okay but shall we move forward my dear students that means you can write it as x meter of alcohol x meter of any oil anywhere anything in any manner you can write this atmospheric pressure in any terms okay crystal clear yeah yeah beta chetan everyone crystal clear everyone please tell me my dear students everyone crystal clear shall we move forward naman dureja tell me suresh ko shuru tell me beta tell me my dear students everything is crystal clear समीर मिंकू चेतन वैभव राधेश्याम प्रकुल नमन एवरीवन क्रिस्टल क्लियर आर्यन यश निशांत राज अभिषेक दिव्य प्रकाश विभास वेरी गुड फैंटेस्टिक माइंड ब्लोइंग सुपर सुपर बेटा नाउ नाउ यू नो हियर यू हैड कैलकुलेटेड एटमॉस्फेरिक प्रेशर in a previous slide in previous slide you had calculated atmospheric pressure but two types two more types of pressure are present one is gauge pressure and a second one is vacuum pressure gauge pressure and vacuum pressure you know what is atmospheric pressure already you know that means uh, pressure of your atmosphere what is gauge pressure gauge pressure told us that how much pressure is above atmospheric pressure vacuum pressure told us that how much pressure is below atmospheric pressure let me explain let me explain with a few beautiful examples few beautiful examples see see pay attention see suppose suppose uh at some place at some place given that gauge pressure is 200 mm hg that means what is the real pressure of that place 
वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ रियल प्रेशर ऑफ दैट प्लेस कैन यू टेल मी रियल प्रेशर ऑफ दैट प्लेस या दैट रियल प्रेशर रियल प्रेशर रियल प्रेशर ऑफ दैट प्लेस इज टू हंड्रेड एम एच जी एब एटमोस्फेरिक सो एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर वॉज सेवन सिक्सटी एम एम एच जी सो एब सेवन सिक्सटी इट्स टू हंड्रेड एब सेवन सिक्सटी दैट मीन्स द रियल प्रेशर ऑफ दैट प्लेस वॉज नाइन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी एम एम एच जी एंड माई डियर स्टूडेंट दिस रियल प्रेशर इज नोन एज एब्सोल्यूट प्रेशर एब्सोल्यूट प्रेशर रियल प्रेशर ऑफ एनी प्लेस इज नोन एज एब्सोल्यूट प्रेशर दैट मीन्स फ्रॉम हियर फ्रॉम हियर वी कैन राइट वन ब्यूटिफुल फॉर्मूला वी कैन राइट वन ब्यूटिफुल फॉर्मूला सी एब्सोल्यूट प्रेशर एब्सोल्यूट प्रेशर इक्वल्स टू वॉट इज सेवन सिक्सटी सेवन सिक्सटी वॉज एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर प्लस वॉट इज टू हंड्रेड एम एम एच जी दैट वॉज गॉज प्रेशर सो वेन यू आर गोइंग टू एड एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर टू गॉज प्रेशर इट इज नाउ कन्वर्टेड इन एब्सोल्यूट प्रेशर वैल्यू and uh, in all formulas beta please 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 pay attention my dear students in all formulas if you are going to put the value of p capital p pressure value that pressure value that pressure value will not be gauge pressure will not be vacuum pressure that will be real pressure that means absolute pressure see one more example see one more example now now suppose suppose at a place it is given that a vacuum pressure of that place is given as suppose a uh, 100 mm hg what does it mean that means i want to tell i want to tell that the pressure of that place is 100 mm hg below the atmospheric pressure 100 mm hg below the atmospheric pressure okay okay so what is real pressure this time yaar what is real pressure 100 mm hg below the atmospheric pressure that means we have to subtract that 100 from 760 mm hg so it's 760 mm hg minus 100 mm hg so now i got 660 mm hg now again this 660 mm hg is what this is my absolute pressure this is my absolute pressure so one more beautiful formula i got that absolute pressure equals to atmospheric pressure minus vacuum pressure i hope each and every student is crystal clear please tell me my dear students write in comment section cc that's crystal clear if any doubt feel free to ask me otherwise otherwise i will move forward everyone crystal clear everyone very good very good fantastic mind blowing super maybe in industry maybe in industry you can see one beautiful column like this and one slip above that column where 14 eta is present written there what is eta anyone tell me what is eta what is this unit eta 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 please write in comment section everyone everyone please write in comment section what is eta tell me waiting 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 tell me what is eta what is eta 14 eta if don't know then write r in comment section otherwise please tell me what is eta 
what is this data very good very good very good abhishek only one student know it so but it is nothing but uh, absolute atoms no but <laughs> no idea sir okay beta see it's atmospheric absolute that means it represents that pressure is already given in absolute unit that means real pressure real pressure eta at represents atm atmospheric pressure and a represents absolute maybe 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 in a tank in a tank you can find pressure written as 5 atm g what is this now i know everyone uh, will be able can able to answer this in this tank the pressure is 5 atmospheric gauge that means real pressure if you want to know atmospheric uh, absolute pressure so it is 6 atm because gauge told us above atm so in this tank above atm pressure was 5 so actual pressure just add one atm pressure in that is it crystal clear to all of you similarly similarly you can find one beautiful tank where they can write a uh, 100 mm hg v what represents represented by this v same to same it will tell you that 100 mm hg below below the atm so here absolute pressure will be 760 mm hg and one more thing one more thing vacuum pressure can't be less than 760 mm hg because pressure can't be negative pressure can't be negative okay so one beautiful line please you can note down in your notebook that vacuum pressure vacuum pressure can't be can't be more than vacuum pressure can't be more than 760 mm hg can't be more than 760 mm hg because it tells us that how much pressure is below the atm so the atm pressure was 760 mm hg so you can uh, go maximum below of that that 760 mm hg so vacuum pressure can't be more than 760 mm hg i hope each and every student crystal clear and if any were written that here 760 mm hg of vacuum if anyone tell you that 760 mm hg of vacuum that means that means their absolute pressure is zero so it is known as absolute vacuum it is known as absolute vacuum okay everyone crystal clear my dear students shall we move forward shall we move forward come on everyone please tell me is it crystal clear to all of you shall we move forward to next beautiful unit tell me everyone please write in comment section okay very good mind blowing so next is energy next is energy what is energy can you tell me in comment section what is energy chetan uh, wants one more time this but uh, see chetan i told you I told you that uh, vacuum can't be less than seven sixty mm hg. Why? Because the atmospheric pressure is seven sixty mm hg. So below, if I am going to tell that eight hundred mm hg of vacuum, what does it mean? See, eight hundred mm hg of vacuum. Suppose. So what is absolute pressure? Seven sixty was at atmospheric pressure. So seven sixty minus eight hundred, it's minus forty. No. Pressure can't be negative. Pressure can't be negative. So maximum value of vacuum can be seven sixty. And when seven sixty, then seven sixty minus seven sixty will give you absolute pressure zero. And that is also known as absolute vacuum case. Absolute vacuum case. Is it crystal clear, Chetan? Shall we move forward? Shall we move forward, Chetan? i am waiting for your comment teleprao 
इंग्लिश चेतन दिलीप राव इंग्लिश क्रिस्टल क्लियर वेरी गुड बेटा सो नो व्हाट इज एनर्जी कैन यू राइट इन कमेंट सेक्शन जस्ट इन थ्री टू फोर वर्ड्स इन थ्री टू फोर वर्ड्स व्हाट इज एनर्जी व्हाट इज एनर्जी व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एनर्जी व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एनर्जी एनर्जी इज डिफाइंड एज capacity to do work i hope everyone very good beta very good so it is just capacity to do work that means the unit of energy will remain same as the unit of work because energy is nothing but capacity to do work capacity to do work so the unit of energy will be joule represented by capital j few conversion factors available important conversion factors you must know for uh, energy uh, first one is calorie in short it's cal 1 calorie equals to 4.187 joule and this joule is also known as newton meter this newton meter can be written as kilogram meter per second square into meter that means kilogram meter square second square so if you want to mention it as a dimension so it's m l square t to the power minus 2 one more unit btu btu is what british thermal unit british thermal unit sir how it come beta for a derivation of these units uh, see my thermodynamics so i am not going to waste same time in two subjects okay so because that uh, derivation is a part of your thermodynamics so one btu british thermal unit is it's 252 calorie in joule you can write 1055 joule okay one more unit arg arg what is arg arg is nothing in similar manner you as you had seen a uh, dyne dyne was cgs unit of force whereas arg is a cgs unit of energy it is cgs unit of energy that means cgs so here kilogram meter square second square so in place of kilogram write g in place of meter square write centimeter square in place of cent second just write second now it is very easy to convert this arg this arg you can write in terms of joule what is joule joule is kilogram meter square per second square so here here conversion factors you want to convert this g into kilogram you want to convert centimeter into meter second to second no need of conversion so in one in one one gram equals to how much kg 10 to the power minus 3 kg one centimeter equals to how much meter 10 to the power minus 2 meter so here you can kind of calculate it like this one into in place of gram 10 to the power minus 3 kg in place of centimeter 10 to the power minus 2 meter and because centimeter square so whole square here upon second square now you can see 10 to the minus 2 square 10 to the minus 4 and minus 3 it will give you 10 to the power minus 1 kg meter square per second square that means that means 1 arg equals to 1 arg equals to 10 to the power minus 7 joule no need to remember just remember one thing that arg is the cgs unit of power uh un energy arg is the cgs unit of energy if you know this then you can uh, do this conversion in less than uh, 10 second just 4 or 5 6 seconds are more than enough okay and if you remember then that's great okay is it crystal clear to all of you is it crystal clear to all of you okay so one more thing one more beautiful unit for energy is kilo watt 
hour. What is this kilowatt hour? It's equals to 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joule. Okay. How it comes, sir? Please tell me. Tell me fundamentals behind it, sir. Please tell me. No, don't worry. Don't worry. See. See how. How I got it. Kilowatt hour. One. What is kilo? Kilo is prefix. Having value 10 to the power 3. Watt. What is watt? What is joule per second? Hour. One hour equals to 3600 second. Wonderful. Second, second. Cancelled. So, I got 10 to the power 3 into 3600 joule. Or same thing I can write as 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joule. So, I hope everyone know how we can say 1 kilowatt hour equals to 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joule. Is it crystal clear to all of you? Please tell me again. Please tell me. Is it crystal clear to all of you? No, 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 no. Nishant, it's not joule per second. It's just joule only. Second, second, cancel. Yeah, very good, very good. Got it? Okay, fantastic, mind-blowing, super. Super. Okay. Now, next I want to discuss viscosity. What is viscosity? Viscosity is represented by mu. And in fluid mechanics, you will uh, get details of viscosity here. Just I am giving one single line to define it. It is the measurement. It is the measurement of resistance to bulk flow or simply you can write flow. In fluid magnets, you will see one beautiful formula known as Newton's law of viscosity. Newton's law of viscosity. According to that law, this tau can be written as mu du by dy. Here one minus can become if you are going to change y into radial directions, y and when this minus will come, you will learn in fluid magnets. Okay, here I am writing this just to know the unit of mu because this time mu now can be written as tau upon du by dy. Now, tau, tau is known as shear stress. Tau is known as shear stress and the unit of shear stress is same to same as the unit of pressure. So that unit of tau is Pascal. And Pascal upon what is the unit of du? Du is, this is u is uh, velocity. So it's meter per second and 1 by dy here it's meter. So meter meter cancelled, Pascal beta 1 beta second that means Pascal second. Wonderful. Pascal second. So Pascal second is the SI unit of, this is what? SI unit of viscosity. Pascal second is the S I unit of viscosity. Same as MKS unit of viscosity. In a extended form, what is Pascal? Pascal is Newton per meter square. So, Newton second per meter square. Uh, what is Newton? Newton is kilogram meter per second square into second beta meter square. Now, you can see again, it can be written as meter cancel this square, second cancel this square. That means kilogram per meter per second. In MKS form, you can write it as kilogram per meter per second, dimension M, L P minus 1, T P minus 1. Tell me my dear student, is it crystal clear to all of you? Is it crystal clear? Now, very good, very good. Now, see here, see here, one more thing, one more thing about this viscosity. Uh, one more unit of viscosity that is known as poise. You know what is poise? What is poise? One poise equals to 100 centipoise. So what is centipoise? 
can you tell me what is centipoise what is centipoise i asked about centipoise not about poise tell me everyone what is centipoise here what is centipoise here please remember this one beta very very important to know that uh, viscosity is kilogram per meter per second uh, centipoise is not cgs unit uh, this poise is cgs unit okay this poise is cgs unit so simply one poise can be written as one kilogram per meter per second so here gram per centimeter per second this is your poise and in one poise in one point you can find 100 centipoise in one poise 100 centipoise are present okay so how why why we want to it already we have a small very small unit of viscosity given in cgs poise then why we need to define it in centipoise very very good but nishant if you are uh, writing written for poise then absolutely correct poise is the cgs unit of viscosity now what is centipoise and why we need to define cp because because near 20 degrees celsius near 20 degrees celsius the viscosity of water is 1 cp or you can say it like 0 0.01 poise so in this manner in this manner if you are going to define any fluids viscosity if you are going to define any fluids viscosity in terms of centipoise that means that means you can tell that this fluid is having two times like two cp that means two times viscous than water so you can say viscosity of any other fluids as a standard comparison with the viscosity of water because the viscosity of water at nearby 20 degrees celsius is 1 cp i hope every student is crystal clear shall we move forward shall we move forward now now uh, one conversion factor i want to do one more beautiful problem here see uh, just i want to know that one poise very good beta. very good my dear students one poise dhananjay singh asked for repeat uh, i told dhananjay that for water near 20 degrees celsius the value of viscosity is 1 centipoise suppose you have a fluid you have a fluid a whose viscosity is given as suppose a 5 cp what does it mean that means that means it is it is 5 times it is 5 times viscous this is just cp not cpa 5 times viscous than water that means now you can compare viscosity of other fluids directly with water. Five times viscous than water. That means its viscosity is five times of water. So that's why we need to define this viscosity in centipoise two. In centipoise two, because the unit of uh, the value of viscosity of water is very very low and nearby a uh, point zero one poise. Point zero one poise. So that's why one more unit is there. That C P. Okay, Dhananjay, is it crystal clear? Please write in comment section. Shall we move forward? Shall we move forward? Okay. Okay. So now, please fill this block. Just fill in the blanks. 1 poise equals to how much kilogram per meter per second? Please tell me. Uh, no, beta Dhananjay, it's not relative viscosity. Poise is just a unit of viscosity. Centipoise is also a unit of viscosity. Okay, both are same. Both, nothing like relative viscosity. Okay, you are not going to divide any thing viscosity with any other viscosity. Okay, here just I am telling you, I told you that the viscosity having, having unit of kilogram per meter per second, unit of 
poise unit of centipoise these are just units and we need or uh, centipoise comes into the picture why because the viscosity of water is one centipoise okay dhananjay is it crystal clear dhananjay just write cc in comment section otherwise ask me your doubt again i am waiting for your comment beta please fast crystal clear very good and abhishek uh, calculated very good beta your answer is absolutely correct and one more thing tell me how much gram per centimeter per second and also tell me how much pascal second okay so as we know as we know poise is nothing but it's gram per centimeter per second so here we need to convert this gram into kilogram centimeter into meter second into second no need of conversion so in one in one one gram equals to 10 to the power minus 3 kg one centimeter equals to 10 to the power minus 2 meter so here we can write it as 1 multiplied by in place of g 10 to the power minus 3 kg in place of this centimeter you can write 10 to the power minus 2 meter in place of second just second so this minus 2 will be added to minus 3 so minus 3 plus minus 2 that means 10 to the power minus 1 kilogram per meter per second that is 0.1 very good absolutely correct you are absolutely correct beta my dear student you are absolutely correct and now these two are same so it's it's same to same one it's same to same one okay and uh, pascal second pascal second is also mks or si unit so it will remain same to same 0.1 okay i hope each and every student is crystal clear and one more thing beta uh, you will learn in fm you will learn in fluid mechanics that viscosity of gases are proportional to temperature to the power 0.5 that means square root of temperature okay derivation is also present in your fluid mechanics just uh, i had written here that you can remember it and recall it in your mind in future okay uh, now next thing is kinematic viscosity kinematic viscosity is represented by this nu and uh, what is nu it is nothing but it is mu by rho okay viscosity coefficient of viscosity all are same okay but kinematic viscosity is different thing Uh, why we want to know kinetic viscosity of any fluid if we know already viscosity okay so these things uh, i explained in detail in fluid mechanics okay because the uh, two fluids having same viscosity if they are flowing in vertical direction in vertical direction in vertical direction then more denser fluid that means if rho 1 if rho 2 here and if rho one is greater than rho two then more denser fluid will go faster it will be faster it will be faster in vertical direction okay whereas viscosity of these two are same but because rho one is greater and uh, it is reciprocal to rho that means kinematic viscosity of one is less than kinematic viscosity of two you can see kinematic viscosity in vertical flow in vertical flow you can't tell about everything uh, by using just viscosity you need one more thing density you need one more term that density and why why more denser flows faster because more denser that means h rho g with the help of h rho g you will find more pressure will be there and i hope in small in short you feel why we need kinetic viscosity uh, with neat and clean diagram picture apparatus everything is present in fluid mechanics okay here just see and one more thing if anyone know want to know what is the variation with temperature then in fluid mechanics you will learn it as uh, t to the power 1.5 for kinematic viscosity okay now see here see here with kinematic viscosity is mu by rho what is mu with uh, the unit of mu was kilogram per meter per second the unit of rho is kilogram per meter cube kg kg cancelled meter 
meter square that means meter square per second it is having same unit as of diffusivity that's why it is also known as momentum diffusivity and uh, in boundary layer chapter of fluid mechanics you will again learn in detail what is momentum diffusivity what is it is also known as momentum diffusivity also known as momentum diffusivity why sir i will i will give you detail in fluid mechanics not in this subject in boundary layer theory okay so wait for that beautiful chapter okay if you want to write it in cgs unit so in cgs this is si unit okay in cgs it's centimeter square per second oh my god this centimeter square per second is known as in short stoke s t o k e beta this centimeter square per second is known as stoke okay so stoke is the unit of kinematic viscosity not viscosity okay stoke is the unit of kinematic viscosity and if i want to calculate one stoke one stoke equals to how much centimeter square per second one stoke equals to how much centimeter per second one stoke equals to how much centimeter square per second so it's one because stoke is the unit of kinetic viscosity in cgs unit same to same if i want to calculate how much meter square per second one stroke equals to very easy to calculate very very easy to calculate here here you want to convert centimeter to meter so one centimeter equals to 10 to the power minus 2 meter directly you can write here 10 to the minus 2 ka whole square that means 10 to the power minus 4 and one more thing uh, reciprocal of this reciprocal of this will give you 1 meter square per second equals to 10 to the power 4 stroke please tell me my dear students is it crystal clear to all of you everything is crystal clear please tell me beta everyone please tell me my dear students everything is crystal clear to all of you no doubts what a beauty Lecture completed in exactly approximately 90 minutes. Crystal clear? Fantastic. Mind blowing super. So that's it for today. Okay. And uh, as I am going to upload this beautiful lecture on YouTube too. So for my YouTube subscribers, for uh, my outsider students. Uh, don't forget to subscribe immediately beta if you want to learn each and every subject in such a beautiful manner with full feeling with lots of numericals okay because in whole india only i will give you separate your numerical batch of all subjects so numericals lots of numericals you will practice here Two year program is also available. Very happy good night to all of you. Beta. You can go now. This is now message for my YouTube subscribers. Okay. Because this lecture will be uploaded on YouTube. Okay. So 24 month subscription available in just 19,500. And separate English and English batches are there. Now both batches are present. Both both batches are present and one more beautiful thing all english learners can see all english batches lectures and all english batches lecture students can see all english batch lectures that means there is no foundation on this subscription this is full iconic plus subscription you can see all lectures even if is it is of those five PYQ batch, numerical batch, practice sessions, extra practice sessions, or any subject, theoretical derivation, PYQs, and numerical classes. Everything is present in this package with gate test series, with gate test series, with gate pre pre gate test series, with bark test series. With pre bark test series and also with bark or other industries course, lots of beautiful numericals are also present there. And uh, lots of new numericals are also there. 
and all numericals in bark and other industries batch is equally beneficial or important for gate one mark questions or two mark easy questions new okay so better don't forget to subscribe it and also don't forget to recommend this to your friend and but demo is also available you can see demo for both lectures okay one more beautiful thing is installments are also available for this you can pay it up to 3 easy installment for this you can pay up to 6 easy installments so beta join it and don't forget to revise your notes every day i must do my revision daily 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 if you want beautiful rank if you want beautiful rank your dream rank your dream rank your dream air in gate and dream job in dream job okay so all possible by this key of success that's revision with full and very very fantastic mind blowing superb content so all the best to all of you beta we will meet again in next beautiful lecture take care very happy good night love you all very very happy good night to all of you beta very happy good night my dear students you're all welcome you are all welcome